John left his pen. How do you know it's his? Because it's the one he always uses. You know a lot about John, don't you, Mom? What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. I just think maybe you like him a lot more than you let on. We're friends. Whatever you say, Mama. Hi. Hey, a little sunshine. Oh, Come in. Hi, Ron. How are you? Hi, Joseph. Hi, Mrs. Blake. Oh, How Mrs. are you? Blake. Oh, I blink every time someone calls me that. Joe, you're still answering to it, so I trust everything's all right? Uh, yes, I'd say so. Oh, your wedding was so romantic. It was, wasn't it? I sort of liked it myself. I'm sorry you weren't there. Me too. I'm thrilled that you and Matthew came, though. Thanks. Let me get you something to eat. No, no, I, I really can't stay that long. I just came by because I have an idea I want to tell you about. Okay. You know that outrageous fudge cake you make for tops? Yeah. And the praline peach pie. Oh, mm. that's my favorite. <laughs> I just look at it and I gain weight. Well, you and all my customers. In fact, they would do almost anything if I would give them those recipes. No. I can't. I never give those recipes out. No, I understand. No, you see, they came from my sister Emma, and she got them from my mother, and it's it's like all we have of her. And no, no, no. I I really do understand. I I didn't come by because I want you to write them out for me. Well, then what do you want? I have this wonderful idea of a special cooking segment on my television show, Breakfast with Felicia. Y you want her to be on TV? Yes. Oh, Mama. I would set up a whole kitchen for you. You could give little tips on how to bake a pie or a cake and, and how to prepare for canning, just like you're doing now at home. No. No. I'm sorry. No. Charlene, you, you probably don't understand what I'm saying. Uh, you wouldn't have to ever give out a recipe. I No, I would be awful. Oh, you'd be fine. You wouldn't. No. I, the people would love it. I know they would. I would be a nervous wreck. I'd be a complete idiot. Oh, no, you wouldn't. It, yes, we I would, would tape the segments. You would never have to do them live. It wouldn't be like you had a big old audience out in front. No, exactly. I mean, if you felt you made a mistake or something didn't turn out right or the cake fell, we would just throw it away and start all over again. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. No, I would be too nervous. It's very, so very informal. You would get used to it in no time, I promise you. And I would give you a very big fee. Mama, you have to do it. I, I can't. Mama, yes, you can. I mean, come on, we could use the money. Think about it. Come on. You should have gotten rid of Jason months ago. Well, it's over with now. I know, and isn't it wonderful? Not sure how wonderful it is. Yes, of course it is. You'll be able to get so many more jobs now than you ever could before. Uh, one step at a time. I still have a lot of organizing to do. Well, I know. And speaking of which, have you been able to find an architect for us yet? Uh, one that you like? No, not really, but I do have some appointments set up for tomorrow. Oh, where? I, I don't want to miss any appointments this time. Well, I'm going to have to be using my boat as an office for a while. The boat? Do you mind coming up to the boat? No, no, of course I don't. I'm, I'm anxious to get started on these plans. You do want the best man for the job, don't Yes, you? of course I do. Well, then that may take some time. I'm sure it will. Oh. oh. Hello, Miss Stafford. Oh, it's Caroline, please. Uh, Caroline. Uh, Donna Hudson, Caroline Stafford. Are you John's wife? No. No, John is, uh, is my brother. Oh. Excuse me. I'm not married. <laughs> Pardon me. Very nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you, too. John, um, excuse me whilst you're eating, but uh, the original plans on having the gallery in the house fallen through. But I found a new space and it's perfect. I've got my architect working on it already. Any chance of you having a look at well, it in the near future? Mr. Stafford, I've, I've got some news for you. Jason and I are no longer associated, so I'm afraid your contract with frame construction is worthless. But you're the one who redesigned the Cole Salon, aren't you? Yes. And are you still in the construction business? Yeah. Well, then all I'll do is get my lawyer to redesign the contract saying that you're the contractor, if you don't mind. See? You've got a job already. Sounds good to me. That'd be fine. Oh, well, frankly, that really suits me, because that Mr. Frame's a bit of a, an odd bloke, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. <clears throat> well, everything seems to be moving along. All I need is to find somebody to help me open the gallery. And then... What? You, you need someone to help you? Yes, but I need a local, because I'm not from here. Uh, well, excuse me, but you're not going to believe this. I think I have someone for you. 
You do? Who? Marley. She's my daughter. You? Yes. Oh. <laughs> well, of course you're taking your designs to Paris with you. Yes, but he's already said that he wants me, Liz. It's not as though I have to bring in my portfolio. But when you're talking to Christian... <gasps> Oh, how I love to say that name. <laughs> Christy, I'm Christian, Christian. Liz. <laughs> when you are talking percentage, wouldn't it be better if he knew that there were other people in Paris ready to see your work? Oh. Sometimes you think just like Cass. Oh, I hope you mean it as a compliment. <laughs> well, what else would it be? Well, he's changed a lot, thanks to you. No, he's always been sweet underneath. Well, you know, you saw it first. He's so supportive of my career. He, doesn't, he didn't hesitate for a minute when I told him about Paris. You are saving the company from bankruptcy. Yes, but I worry sometimes about leaving him here, even for a day or two. Well, I'll keep an eye on him, try and make sure he behaves himself. No, 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 it's not that. We're partners, Liz. We've always worked together. I, I, I feel a lot better if you were there. Ask him to go with you. No, I can't ask him to do that. He's, he's got too much crucial work to do for Mac. Call him every day, but try to put it on their phone bill. What really worries me is, what if working for Christian St. Jacques means that I have to be in Paris a lot? Nicole, my dear, you are a very talented designer. You have your own career. I know, And Cass but... has to adjust to that. Years ago, when men were the breadwinner, my women had to do that all the time. Okay, you're booked into the Jean Saint Hotel in Paris. You have the flight to Kennedy and then the Concorde to Paris. What day? Liz, please. Sorry. It'll be the day after tomorrow. Uh, I also took the liberty of talking to Monsieur Saint-Jacques' lawyer in French. Aren't we all impressed? Oh. <laughs> Sounds like you're trying to get rid of me. Listen, you. I'm going to be counting the hours while you're gone. If you happen to stay away too long, I just may have to come after you, you know. Okay, I promise.